So I want to take a look at this item I bought just here recently off Amazon by this company. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name. D-U-O-Y-I. It is their DY-23B brake fluid tester. And uh, the particular model that I bought has an LCD screen that you see here. They had another one that was a little cheaper and it had LEDs. I opted to get this. And uh, you can set this to dot 3, 4, or 5.1. You can, uh, as you can see here, uh, we got the, there, you can see right here there's a symbol. Now, when I push buttons, you won't hear anything. If I shut that off, or turn it on now, this is shutting it off. If I turn it on, you can hear the buttons as you push them, and that's what I want. But they give you the option to shut the sound off, to shut that beep off. Here you have a backlight. I'll turn it like this. There you can see that. That's real nice. I like that option a lot. And then we have a battery check. It, it'll let you know uh, if your battery's good, when it's low. And of course your power switch. Now this does require a 9 volt battery, it does not come with one. So you have to supply your own 9 volt battery. Now to take that battery cover off, I'm going to be using this Philips 2 and on my um, iFixit tools that I have. And you want to be real careful when you take that uh, little screw off, you want to make sure you get a screwdriver that fits it properly not sloppy because you'll have nothing but trouble down the road if you strip the head out there it's just a small little screw like that and the battery cover comes off it actually slides it, it fits on like this it slides forward you pull it back and then it's got your battery here the 9 volt I wish it had a better, uh, what you call it here, the way, the, a lot of them are cheaper like this, I call them cheaper, the way they're, uh, in fact, one of the things I had to do, let me take this off, one of the things I had to do to get this to fit properly was actually uh, take my battery, I don't know if you can tell here, and I pushed out the one side here. You can see the side right here to the left. See how that's pushed out, this little prong? Otherwise, for whatever reason, if I didn't do that, it would not snap on to this, uh, to that on the unit. So if you're having trouble trying to attach your battery, I just took a little small flat blade and just pushed this way on it to open up just a hair. It worked fine. does have this flexible gooseneck on it as you can see here it is metal and then here's your probe here's a better look at that gooseneck and then the probe end and what I did for these tests is I was they were wiped off after each time I put them in a uh, uh, a different fluid or uh, change the setting. I wipe them off with a paper towel. Here's where the sound comes out for the beeps. So what I'm going to do here is give this thing a try. Now this is some dot three brake fluid. Now I've shown on here that it was opened on 619 to 21. That's when I had to do the right uh, I'm sorry, the left rear caliper seized up, so I changed both of those on my CRV to both rear <coughs> calipers. Anytime I open up something like this, I like to put the date so I know how old it is. And then we have some fresh stuff over here that has not been opened. So I want to see 
as a control how does this look we'll open it up and we will put it in this clean little jar and test that see what we come up with and then we'll also test this so let me break that seal And let's pour some in the container. And we'll set it to dot three. And let's see what happens. Now, I don't know. That's showing caution already. Brand new. How can that be? It's looking like 2.5%. So, I don't know if this thing reads worth a damn or not. And like you said, I just... Now that was bought back at the time that I opened up that other one because I wanted an extra one. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, even sealed, whether it would draw moisture. But you see, let me turn the light on. I don't know if you can see it any better. So let's check this, um, I've got it set to dot three. And as you can see, we are at about two and a half percent moisture. Well guys, this is just regular H2O water. Let's see what happens. I've got her set on dot three. All right, guys, so next <clears throat> I'm going to check the uh, brake fluid in my car. I'm going to go to the master cylinder over here. And uh, <clears throat> currently I have 136,834 miles. I've never changed the brake fluid, <coughs> but I did have to add, and I used DOT3. The manual said I could use DOT3, and that's what I used. And so I did uh, add, obviously, when I had to put the two new calipers on the rear. So, let's see what happens. All right, so, let's zoom in a little bit. And, now I'm going to turn this thing on. And I'm going to set it to dot three, because again, I'm not sure what was in the vehicle, but the manual said dot three. So, let's put that in there. Okay, I've got a I've got a strainer I got to take out. Let me take that strainer out of there. Okay, so I had to take this little strainer out. I'm gonna set that aside on top of the cap. I've got the cap on my uh, 
firewall or on the uh, front of the vehicle uh, you don't want to get any dirt on there so everything's been cleaned I've got this set to dot three so here you see it set on dot three and um, uh, that's what I put in the manual said to use dot three the cap says dot three or four Now for the heck of it, I thought I would try dot four, just to see where we're at with dot four. And that's what I'm showing. Because I don't know whether the original was dot four and then you mix fluids, I don't know. But that's what I'm showing with uh, the dot four setting. Well, let us go back to the water, set at dot three. So... I don't know how accurate these things are. If somebody knows, I was just amazed that there'd be moisture. Not that there couldn't be, but that there might even be moisture in a sealed um, bottle. Like I had here, that, like I showed with this dot three here. And um, obviously I bought it back when I opened up the other bottle in June of 21. But... I guess we don't know how long this was on the shelf either. So maybe they still collect moisture. If anybody knows, please let me know.